Hey YouTube, how's it going? Welcome to another Aussie Outlaws No Bullshit Beer Reviews. And today as you can see we've got Wild Yak Pacific Ale. Yeah, from the Matilda Bay Breweries Company. Yeah. Let's have a look at the uh, bottle, shall we? Now, somebody's requested that I now add the uh, advertising blurb that's on uh, most beers these days. But, as you can see, I'll spin the bottle there. Playing the old spin the bottle. I got this from Dan Murphy's. It was 98 cents. They're normally uh, $4.89. And there we go. The advertising blurb is actually gone so I could try and read some for you but uh, with subtle aromas of melon and passion fruit the flavor is blah, 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 blah. six yak sing blah, blah, parakeets new together to do refreshing island fuck there you go you can make up fill in the blanks there guys bread with 100% bread I've never heard beer referred to as being bread bread with 100% Australian malt by Matilda Bay Brewing Company part of the CUB family Okay, so obviously CUB bought them out. But um, you can have a look at the, the bottle. It's got the uh, yak in some beautiful fluoro-y colours there. Uh, got this cheap because it's um, out of date, actually. 345ml stubby. And um, that's about all I can, I can say about it. The bottle is nothing that fancy. Got Matilda Bay. Emblemized, not emblemized, if you say that. And there is the cap. If you can, I don't know if we can get that in for those cap people. Might turn that the fucking right way. It might help. Had requests for people to sh from people to show the cap. So I know there's a lot of cap collectors. And it never occurred to me, but there you go, guys. Now we open this sucker and see what it's like. See if it's a twist top. And it's not a twist top. This one apparently, but. Uh, so we might, might need um, our friend Herman the Helper. Where would you be without my assistant, Herman the Helper? So thanks, Herman. Get over there, you sucker. Hmm. Let's give it a whiff. Oh, yeah. Very fruity smell straight up, guys. Fruity, sweet sort of smell about it. Yeah, haven't smelt this before, so it's going to be interesting when we pour one. Get some beer into this glass. I'm sure it's not pouring that well. Yeah. No head at all we could get out of that. Very interesting. Lightly carbonated. Head's a worry. Let's see how she tastes. Mm. Yeah, sort of like a, there's a, like a passion fruit taste. Melon, watermelony passion fruit sort of taste in it. But uh, very sweet. It leaves on your palate, right on your tongue there sweet sort of taste not jumping out at me at the moment but uh, let's get some more into us and that head's a worry too add a little bit of blowback mmm very mild sweet <clears throat> not overly heavy Reading online, they said it's made from Melba and Galaxy Hops. Don't know much about it, but uh, yeah, I'm in two minds about drinking the rest of this beer, to be honest. The Wild Yak Pacific Ale, infused with passion fruit or something. I mean, I've had some of the lime beers before, but this is a bit different. Let's give it another crack. I'm getting used to it now, but it's, <clears throat> it's not a taste I'm actually enjoying that much, to be honest. <clears throat> don't see many floaty bits in there, so it's, it's pretty well refined. Refined, but 
it's dead, isn't it? It's a dead beer. Let's get the rest of this in, Jose. I don't know where this would be aimed at, what sort of beer drink it's aimed at. It's like, I noticed online one of them said, should be served with fish tacos. What the fuck is that? It's not. When did beer suddenly became a, become a thing that uh, we've got to decide what to drink, uh, what to eat with it? It's like going down the, uh, the lines of the sort of wine connoisseurs or something. Not bullshit. Here's a drink for a common man. That's the way I look at it, so. Let's knock this off, eh? Yeah, I can't say I like that too much. It's a sweet taste. I'm thinking there, there will be a market for this beer. I don't know how, how good it sells, but uh, there would be a market for it. But uh, the sweetness. A lot of young people these days like the sweet sort of tasting things. But no, this is not for me. Uh, I'm going to give it out of 10. Sorry to say, uh, 5.2. And our final rating, would I get out on the piss with this? Down the pub, drinking out of Barbie. I don't know. Sitting by the lake, sitting by the river. And if you handed me one, I'd try it out. But if I had one before, I'd say, no thanks, mate. I'll stick with a common, more common beer. But uh, uh, I'll be interested to see what the rest of their beers taste like. And if it's like this, yeah, I wouldn't be buying it. So would I get out on the piss with this beer? Nah. Sorry, it's a no from me. But... Hey YouTube, thanks for everyone for watching. Um, if you'd like a beer to be reviewed, just uh, hit me up in the uh, comment section. Leave a like or a dislike, it's all good. It's all interaction. Thanks for watching. Cheers, mate.